Xander's DIY. I'm working on a Honda CRV, a 2000 CRV. I've got, I've got a fuel leak or a gas smell issue that I've seen on the internet, so I looked it up, and there's two different things people are doing to fix this problem. Um, mine, I've got a little bit of fluid I noticed on my fuel injector rail, and there's also something I'm going to investigate further that's underneath, the, you know, by the firewall. I'll look into that, but there's videos on that also, so I'm going to start with this. Uh, I clearly have a leak there, so I ordered uh, a kit to rebuild the injectors, and uh, I'm going to show you how to take the injector rail off, and then uh, I've, I've done a video on how to clean out the injectors with a, um, a uh, Andy's DIY on a Triumph uh, fuel injector setup, Triumph motorcycles. You can check that out on how um, I did that as far as to apply it to the car. But let me show you how to take the uh, the fuel injectors out. Okay, so here's the car we're working on here. Uh, a 10 millimeter wrench will get you through most of what you got to do here. So there's four, I've already taken them off. There's four nuts here, or they're bolts, two here and two back here. And then this thing just kind of pulls off. And then here's your uh, your fuel injector rail right here. I've already taken these bolts off. But these are, so you've got four of these holding this on here. And then you'll have three 10 millimeter nuts, three of them. Uh, you got a screw in here, one here, and then one over here. And this thing just will start will start moving as you jiggle it loose. Um, to get the to get it completely off, if you want to take it all the way off, you'll need to take off these two two uh, millimeter ten millimeter nuts back here and here, and that'll free up this. this is your fuel supply, and then you'll have your whole rail off. But that'll get it loose, and then they just basically just unplug. Just I've already gotten this one unplugged. This one's unplugged here, and here's your actual injector right there. Um, and then, like I said, these just pull out. And then, what I'm going to rebuild it with is a Beck Armley setup. I ordered four of these off of Amazon. This is the one for this car here, but that's what I've got. Um, I think I got a set of four of them for l less than 30 bucks to rebuild all four, and I'll show you that next. Okay, so here's one of the injectors off. I've already stripped off the old pieces here, and I basically matched up uh, what I needed with the kit here. The kit's gonna come with extra um, pieces to it because the kit services other uh, injectors, but I just matched them up one at a time and laid them all out as I'm gonna go. This one goes here, this one here goes in the middle where you took it off, and that one goes right on the very end. I think between this one and this one is the common ones where your leak starts, I'm assuming. Uh, anyway, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean this injector out with the carb cleaner, which uh, again, I put a video out on how to do that. Uh, basically taking off somebody else's stuff they put out on it, but it's a real, it's an easy setup. You can look that up on how to clean your injector out. But that's, that's the way I'm going to do mine, and this is the kit you'll need again in order to do a Honda CRV. I think that goes from 98 through 2001, I believe. And that should get you straightened up.